Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I finally decided <laughs> to go natural. Like, I don't know what was taking me so long. I'm here to share to the world. I just want to document my natural hair journey. I was addicted to the perm. I was addicted to the crack. Addicted. But not anymore. I decided to finally quit doing perms in my hair. They're bad. I was starting to bald in the center of my head. And literally, I cut all my hair off. I'll insert a clip here or here. But I cut all my hair off. It's like an inch now. Like it's like an inch so a couple of years ago um i decided to go natural and i couldn't deal with it i think i was natural for about two months or so i'm gonna insert some pictures when it was cut and i went natural fake natural for like two months and i don't know i just could not take it i have really really thick 4C hair that is so hard to manage. I could not find any products that helped it from like not being dry or just helped it to look moisturized and look cute. Cause you know, with 4C hair, you cannot do a wash and go, okay? Like that, that is like unforeseen territory. Like you can't, you just can't forget about it. This was like in 2013 or so. At that time, that was when the natural wave came about and everyone was cutting their hair, everyone was going natural. And I'm like, oh, I'm about to have natural hair and it's gonna be curly and it's gonna look like hers. <laughs> Turns out, Nabu, Nabu. It was 4C hair. Not to say 4C hair isn't beautiful as well, but at the time, it just seemed like if I cut my hair, this is what it would look like. Clearly it didn't look like that and I just went back to permanent again. And I noticed like within the last year or so that I was starting to get like a bald spot in the middle of my head. And <laughs> stupidly, I'm Googling like, what causes bald spots? Like, why am I balding? Why is this happening to me? And it didn't even come to me that, you know, because of like, over processing my hair it could be the perm I was thinking that I was like just really stressed out or it just had to be anything else besides the perm but it was definitely definitely the perm it's been like I think like four months now that I decided to go natural and the journey is still a little difficult but it's better now because now I've been getting my hair done. I just got my hair done like yesterday and I I think that one of the best things to do when you have 4C hair is to always have it braided, do faux locks, do cornrows, like just something that is going to last long and something that is very low maintenance because that is what is going to grow your hair if it's 4c i was holding on to like that extra three to four inches of hair just because i like putting my hair up in like ponytails and doing the whole Nicki minaj long ponytail look and that was really the only reason oh i also like to wear wigs too and like just use that extra hair to pull it up in a ponytail in the front and have the rest of the wig come down as curly but now it's just like I just didn't want all that. I felt like I was just carrying around extra weight. And I just, when I cut it all off, I felt so free. And I'm officially a part of the Natural Hair Club. It took a long time, but I'm back. 4C hair is really difficult, but I really wanted this time to document my journey and see how far this takes me see how long i could get my hair to grow because i'm always just i i gave up the first time that i went natural to what was it three four years ago and i don't want to do that this time because i really am not ever trying to put a perm back in my hair like it's a no-go it's a no-go for that so i really decided just to document my journey so i'm gonna do like a little hashtag journey to waist length and um yeah i'm just gonna document it 
and I would love you guys feedback on you know if you guys are also going natural what products you guys use what helps for you and I would definitely like to take some of those recommendations into consideration because a sister do need some help I've been watching YouTube videos forever about 4C hair but I only find like like five girls with 4C hair that have long hair that actually looks good because I've seen some girls on hair their hair are, is like 4C but it's like really thin and I don't like that I mean who the hell likes thin hair but I want like really thick just Diana Ross beautiful like yeah also it would be dope if you guys could like tag me on Instagram and in pictures of like hairstyles and stuff like that i'm always looking for new hairstyles because this is going to be like one of the biggest challenges for me and i'm so excited because you know this is something new for me again part two there ain't going to be a part three because i'm not going back to perm but yeah i just want to start documenting this and put this out there into the universe because if you are going natural too and you're thinking about giving up don't you do it don't you do it it's such an awesome journey and yeah just watch me on this journey and be my cyber friend so we can talk and share tips and all that good stuff together anyway guys i just wanted to put this out there let me know in the comment section what you think what your ideas are, what products you use, yada, yada, yada. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks guys. Journey to waist length. Bye.